So with my son James, his dad is an alcoholic. Um, I believe he started smoking pot, drinking cigarettes, that at age 13. Um, eventually got kicked out of two schools. He was in drug court and his dad went with him. I, I tried to fight it in court, but I didn't have a lawyer. So his dad is his hero, but it's kind of skewed up because his dad's a really bad alcoholic. He's, he's lost two beautiful families. It wasn't my fault. I mean, I got treatment for my disorder, which is bipolar, and he didn't want to leave. It was just his drinking that was so, I couldn't associate with him drunk. I just, and he would be drinking in the house and I'm like, I got to leave. And so it's, it's been di diplomatically difficult to make a living as an artist. I mean, that's a, that's a tough calling. I, I do see a clear path on, on how to do that, but it takes some time and my son is suffering. So anybody that wants to help him, he doesn't see that if he drinks, it damages relationships because he grew up that way, that it was okay to damage relationships with that. And there was no problem because it was his father. And everything could be forgiven, even the drunk driving. But I don't. I don't forget. And I do remember the physical assaults on my son, the drunk driving, the fact that his dad was buying him substances such as cocaine, pot, cigarettes, and whiskey. James was skipping school, not going to school. I went to meetings there. Um they got negligence in the neighborhood. His dad got kicked out of the neighborhood. And um, I just think my son is in a downward spiral to prove to himself that he can drink and he can have a love life and he can have friends and he can be in music. But the inanity that has to go is the destruction of alcoholism and drug addiction. You just, you're not going to have a happy life, James. And, and I'm hoping you meet some friends that show you a better path than your father. Thank you.